welcome to the gray area. Uga uga chaka uga 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 chaka uga 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 chaka uga uga. I can't stop this feeling. Deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. <laughs> when you hold Pinky in your arms so tight, you let Pinky know everything's alright. Pinky Pie is hooked on a feeling. Well, that went real pretty quickly. Um, You're welcome. We're, <laughs> we're back with another review for okay. the first time in months. Wait, shit, we're actually recording? Yes. No, of course not. not. No, we did all that for health. Yeah, that was that's, that was for funsies. Yeah, I think you arms. <laughs> Yay! I, nope, not healed. Oh, well. <laughs> it was for so health. Anyway, what are we reviewing? Tell us. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. That's the thing we're reviewing. How is Sebastian sleeping through this one? Yeah, what the fuck? Why aren't you saying words? Mm. I think he can't even. Come on. Don't be a white girl. What? <laughs> yeah, Sebastian, don't be a white girl. Do you want to get you some Starbucks? Yeah. Some oh my sunglasses. god, caramel macchiato. And some little furry boots. It was great, go see it. Some boots. <laughs> well, go that's a review go, over. He, go. He, he just can't even. Go buy the comments. He just can't 10 even. out of 5, go see it. Are you fucking shitting me? It was like 100 out of 5. Oh, it was if you want to have an erection for two hours and six minutes, go watch Curtains of the Galaxy. If it goes over that, though, you better check your doctor. Check your doctor! If your erection lasts more than two hours and six minutes, Guardians of the Galaxy may not be for you. Anyway. So, overall, it was fantastic. Yes, it was. I didn't know anything about the... Uh, the lore and story, I guess. I knew a vague amount about the, the characters based on what you told me, and it was still an incredibly entertaining movie. Like, you don't need to know anything about it to like it. Yes. My man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Like, I think all y'all told me was, like, basically what the characters were about, and, like, and then you described Guardians of the Galaxy as. It's like Avengers, but with a bunch of assholes. In space. I don't remember the space part, for sure. Well, I mean, it's kind of implied, yeah. so yeah. God, why is everyone so fucking dead? Because it's There, there isn't 12? really much to say. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just good. It's like the yeah. best, yeah, it's like one of the best movies. Should we just restart this and make the whole review? It's good, go see it. Guardians of the Galaxy is a story about a young man named... Peter Quill, who has been recorded for 12 years of his life. <laughs> Peter goes through a lot of changes, including what is known as boyhood. When a strange man in a 1967 Impala comes because fuck Peter's mom like before she died of cancer, um, Peter is whisked away into the wonderful world of space, the high school. Um... <laughs> What? That this is an ad lib. <laughs> no, this isn't actually ad <laughs> So Red Letter Media did a thing where they reviewed Boyhood and Guardians of the Galaxy, and for Guardians of the Galaxy, they were like, it's this. They they reviewed the plot of Boyhood, and then for Boyhood, they're like, Boyhood is the story of young Tommy who finds a mystical item on the planet of whatever the fuck the beginning planet from Guardians of the Galaxy is. Oh called. my god. Dongland. Good, go see it. Oh, That's yeah, really it's all I have to say about it. Funny, it's, good action sequences. It's just good. <laughs> and it's something you can just jump into. And it yeah. ties in with the with the rest of the MCU because the MCU is building up to really big things. Not Master They're, Control Unit, but Marvel uh, whatever it is. Yeah, Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's separate from the comic universe. Yeah. I gotta say the one thing I didn't like about the movie was... Uh, I don't think Gamora really fit very well to what you, how you described her. In the movie, no. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think it worked that well. Uh, it's not that she didn't fit well. I mean, she it was Gamora. She's uh, she's literally just this psychotic, badass bitch 
But, like, the way that they did her character was, like, sort of, like, they they made her a little bit too much like Drax. They did her almost like the love interest, but I don't think she was... It's supposed, not. Yeah. That was... They it were when Guardian Drax. started, but Peter's now fucking Kitty Pride from the X-Men. So yep. That's not happening anymore. I'm nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My man. It's... Um... I mean... Kind of, but not really. That, like, never really happened. Um, I mean, I, I like the character portrayals. Also, like, you, you, when you told me about Drax, you made him out to be, like, the super badass, like, beat the shit of everyone, and he just gets his ass handed to him for the entire movie. Yeah. I'm like, really? This is Yeah, that's exactly sad. what he is in the comics. He's the badass guy who'll take care of all the infantry units, but when he gets down to the let's fight the big dudes, he is just <laughs> fucked. I don't think he's ever actually won a fight. Like, like, the movie made him like really just a bitch, really. That's a and he was he was made with the purpose of fighting Thanos. Yeah, and he can't even beat Ronan the Accuser. I still want to say one of my favorite things was the before trailer where they show in the episode of Spider Man. Like, he's supposed to what's the plan? Throw the throw stick. The stick. The plan is always to throw what's the stick. What's the plan? Oh yeah. Plan is <laughs> always to throw the stick. That's actually from the comics. That's what yeah. I liked yeah. about that before episode. Before the movie, they showed all the like random videos yeah. and shit. They showed the animated Curtis thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider Man involved in the thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Throw the stick. You mean? Throw the stick. Throw the stick. He, yes, it's always. He the plan. said throw. He said to throw him. You want? You want me to throw him? Yes, throw him. Okay. You gotta get a splinter. <laughs> Honestly, um, my my one problem, oddly enough, with it was um, mostly just that. Uh, so the way, like, they got Rocket perfect. Just Bradley Cooper just did Bradley Cooper voice <laughs> for Rocket Raccoon, and the way that he is in the comics, he's like really like gritty and like obnoxious and he has like this really like raspy voice um and like they didn't do it and i mean because that's how they i mean that's how they write it that's how they that's how they write it like the bubble like the way like you know how when you read something you can imagine a character's voice and that's how you imagine rocket this fucking like raspy obnoxious dude it's just raunchy like seriously if you haven't read the rocket raccoon comic scotty young's doing one because guardians is so marketable they decided to do comics from characters. Well, I haven't seen anything for Groot, Drax, or Gamora. They're only Groot's the most Raccoon. popular. Uh, yeah. But um, but but yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't have any problems with it. I'm I'm a huge Guardians fan. Like, I'm one of the few people that like knew what the fuck it was. It's like it's so it's below D list. So like, I was pretty amazed when they were like, "Hey, we're doing a Guardians movie." I was like. What the so for reference, for reference on what he's talking about, um, if you read the comics after uh, the movie got announced and like we got to see the uh, the outfits for the movie, the the outfits for the characters in the comics changed to reflect what was in the movie. That's how like that's how fucking small Peter Quill's gun even changed to be the one in the movie, and they even explain it, and I was like, what? Like, he still has his old gun, but, like, he got a new one, and I was like, alright. Like, the comic's great, it's still written really well. Um, I just think it's really funny that, like, the movies influence, influence the comic, it's funny. Um, movies bring lots of money. Yeah. It was just weird, like, I couldn't believe that that was what they had picked, it was Guardians of the Galaxy. I was like, you have Doctor Strange, Black Panther, you have... Well, fucking so much other shit that's actually a lot more fancier than that. Well, to be fair, for Doctor Strange and Black Panther, they're kind of already doing it. Yeah. Motherfucking Nova, dude. At least he's popular. Yeah. People know who Nova is. For fuck's sake, people know who Nova is. And they're like, let's just do Guardians. Which I was like, what? I don't know. Actually Star so Lord? Like, nobody knows who he is. That's one of my favorite line in the movie is when they're, <laughs> they're just, they're, they're at the final fight and, and uh, fucking, um, Korath the Pursuer like looks Chris Pratt dead in the eyes and he's like Star Lord and Chris Pratt's like finally <laughs> and it's just it's funny because nobody it's just if we're gonna have a it's fucking movie, wonderful I think my favorite was still he got the dick message he got, he got, he got, got the, the dick message. message I need that guy's arm um it's, it's important to me 
Um, I, I, I enjoyed it overall. It is literally a great throwback to how 80s science fiction films were. They're just fun, stupid comedy rides. And they're, they're not really to be taken that seriously. Um, all in all, it, it, people will argue with me. I liked it more than the Avengers. Like, a lot more than the Avengers. Mostly just because the Avengers kind of, like... I love that movie, but as, as, I, as I go back and watch it, it drags on a little. It and it's does. the same length as Guardians. But I go back and watch Guardians, and I've watched it five times now, and it's I love it every fucking time. It doesn't get boring. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they didn't they did. put Nathan Phil into the movie, and I'm upset about that. Um, they announced well, he was going to be in the film... Uh, they they showed Cosmo the space dog, but he's not in the film. Like the Na- well, Nathan thing. Fillion is in the film, but it's a really he's voice like, only, and it's like you wouldn't really notice it unless yeah. you actually like specifically paid attention. Him. Yeah, like he's in the movie. He's that. Uh, you remember in the prison? When I'm Groot- going to grease up your hole with. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah, the blue, the big blue prison guy that Groot yeah. like picks up and like with like right in the nose. Remember that oh, dude? Okay. That's Nathan Fillion. And people were like, "Holy shit, make Nathan Fillion Nova. That'd be yeah. a genius idea." And they're like. Mm, no, we're just going to cock tease you. Hmm. All in all, uh, I think my highlight of the movie, and it's a really, really small highlight, was seeing Josh Brolin as Thanos. Like, I, I cried. I'm not even going to lie. I legitimately cried seeing Thanos on the big screen for the first time. He is the most badass villain, like, of all time. Like, the dude's superpower is just killing everything everywhere. That's literally it. He's fucking badass. And, like, seeing him on screen for the first time and seeing, like, the whole sits on the throne and does the little Thanos smile where he just, like, leans back and it's, like, that half grin. I was like, oh, my God. It's everything I've wanted. It's everything I've been waiting seven fucking years for to see that. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And um, I think the more uh, more the the universe, you know, expands and more more shit happens... The more we're going to see of them, because I, I seriously think that that's what Avengers 3 is going to be. I, I hope. I can, I can hope. I don't know if I'll be able to like him. Who? Thanos? Thanos. I You're don't not like the I'm just overpowered, fuck you. That's the thing, is that he's he's really not. But what makes him scary is, like, he's just that kind of... Like, imagine him as the character in Dark Souls. He's just fucking relentless. And that's what's, like, scary about him. That's why I, I mean, like him as a villain. I mean... Like, he's not overpowered, like, seriously, it, it, why... Like you said, he just kills everything everywhere. Well, yeah, well, I mean, that's because, you know, all the other planets except Earth suck, because, yeah, Earth. <laughs> um, like, I'm serious, like, every other fucking planet in the universe, like, apparently sucks dick, because Earth's like, look how great we are, we've got people who... Well, we got McDonald's. We got McDonald's. Stannis is like, fuck, McDonald's, can't blow up that planet. <laughs> um, My those people can... Those he, it's, people not that he's, it's not that he's overpowered, he's literally just, like, like, dark side. Remember when we watched Justice League War? The villain in, in Justice no. League War? He's like Darkseid. Just a lot more eviler. Yeah. Um, also insane. Yeah. I mean, and it's not... I mean, the thing is, too, is... I mean, like, Literally yeah, yeah, insane. yeah, he kills like, everything everywhere, but it's it's not just him. Like, he has a fucking army of shit. Like, he has this following. I prefer villains at least having to try. Or, like, work for what they do. He, he worked his lot. way... Yeah. He, like, his whole life was working up to where he is. Yeah. He's feared and respected all over the universe. Mm. Mostly just because he's Josh Brolin. Um, honestly, if you haven't seen it yet, I say go for it. If you're not a fan of Guardians, that's fine. It will probably make you a fan. I am. A fan Don't go Guardians. see Ninja Turtles. Don't yes, go see Ninja Turtles. Go see Guardians instead. Spend your money on something that's actually going to be good. Just go see Guardians of the Galaxy again. Even if you've seen it once, go see it again. Um, honestly... Give them money to make more sequels. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's, 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 there's just really not much I can say about it. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I, I, I mentioned Guardians on the podcast prior, so everybody kind of knows that I'm a fan. So, like, and I mean, the thing was, like, when this movie was announced, I, I didn't give a shit whether it was going to be good or not, mostly just because I was like, well, fuck, they'll merchandise it, and I know they'll merchandise it, and they'll Unless merchandise my favorite series. No, even if it was, the fact that it was just a Marvel movie meant that it would be merchandised. And I was like, I was like, I don't care if it sucks. I don't care if I dislike it. 
Um, and my, 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 my biggest thought was, well, it can't be worse than Amazing Spider-Man, so, um, alright. And I'm glad. I'm glad it was good. I'm really glad it was good, because that, that gives me a lot of hope. And also, it, it, it scares me, because Marvel just can't keep getting away with this. They have to make a shit movie eventually. They just have to. I mean, yeah, Thor's kind of were lame. I love, I love the Thor movies, but when you compare them to everything else, they're just really, like, what the fuck, Marvel? Like, come on, Thor's badass. Make his movies... Slightly better. Come on here. I don't know. I'm the Natalie Portman relationship that nobody cares about I'm, just needs to go away. I'm kind of leery about uh, the World War Hulk movie because oh, I am super leery about that. Given given, given, given Hulk's the reputation, record, for given Hulk. the track record, <laughs> given, Hulk's track record <laughs> given Hulk's track record, I, I'm just not happy about. But he's that. had so many movies. Yeah, yeah, and they <laughs> all everyone fucking, loves it. He sucked. God. The reason he's had so many movies is because it's Desperation Watch, them, save watch them as a joke. Just fire Mark Ruffalo and hire another actor for Hulk. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Because they have to keep changing it. No. It's tradition. That would be tradition. awful. Every movie you need a different actor. Hey, at least some of the games are decent on that. That would be like the Harry Potter yeah. movies. I think we're going to be on that. Changing the world. That was upsetting. <laughs> I'm very upset now. You know, um, what else can we say about Guardians other than it's fantastic? It's, it's funny. It's definitely one of the best movies I've seen this year. Mini action. Um, from the from almost awesome. the very beginning, it's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. like literally the After whole... the depressing intro, then it's just hilarious the entire movie. Yeah, I mean, the, literally the intro scene... Let me put it this way. James Gunn is a master at what he does. Um, watching him finally become a big screen director after all his little smaller projects. I mean, Super was a great movie. There was He's done a lot of really great stuff. And finally watching him, like... You know, spread his wings. Here, I'm spreading my wings. Look at me, I'm a fucking real director. Was was great, and that was that was good to see. And uh, his his whole his soundtrack stuff is probably the the best soundtrack I've ever seen in a movie, and the best usage of 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 old '70s songs that nobody's listened to in a really long time. It was genius. It was a great film. It was it was fun. Um, go see that, or go see the new Planet of the Apes because both are pretty good. Yeah. Um, honestly. Don't see Ninja Turtles. Don't see Ninja Turtles. It was fucking shit. <laughs> it's the blandest fucking piece of garbage I've ever seen in my life. Either. Don't oh, see yeah, Transformers no. either. It was also bland. It's Michael Bay. Piece of garbage. Um, but yeah, that's Guardians. Um, yeah. Lead, lead us out. Bye. Uh, thanks for Bye. listening. Go see Guardians. Buy the comic books. Buy the toys. Buy our toys. Buy the Buy stuff. Buy our toys too. Yeah, buy our toys. We need, to get, we need to get yeah. working on that. Yeah. With broken yeah. elbow functions. Yeah. <laughs> articulated elbows. Yeah. Not very no, no. Bite, unarticulated no, articulated elbows. comes with Tux action figure. Yeah. All right. Fucking That's it. Complete route. with splint accessories. <laughs> splint accessories. You can oh pretend God. he has broken arms. With, with front brake action. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs>